Hi, we're here today at DCA just for a quick trip. I wanted to try out a couple of um, seasonal foods over at the Pacific Garden Grill. So we're gonna get the elote and the street tacos. All right, let's head in and um, I'm super starving. So let's see how this is, fingers crossed. So here we are, we got our elote, um, supposed to have crema, tortilla cheese, and I don't know what else, but you get a lime, it looks good, and chili pepper on top. I'll post all of the um, ingredients here, and then I also got the street tacos. These are sirloin beef is what it says, and we got rice and beans, pinto beans. We'll see how all this is. I'm excited to try it. All right, so we got some lime with this. Let's lime it up. One handed. All right, we're gonna try this, baby. Okay, so we are over here at um, Pacific Garden Grill. You can hear the music behind me. Um, I couldn't find a seat over by the stage, but um, we'll just have that be our background music. I was really here to try the food. So, um, and I'm just gonna talk here, but I got the elote. And it's okay. So they did really good with like the, what's on top. The corn, um, the corn was cold and it wasn't really like, I, I say, well I say the corn wasn't meaty. I know it's corn, but <laughs> it didn't have that crunch. It didn't pop. It's um, kind of a shallow corn. If, if you're a corn aficionado. <laughs> But I like when it's like super, like the kernels are really, um, um, I don't know, it's hard to explain, but yeah, it just kind of has that crunchy, meaty, you bite into the corn kernels, and um, it wasn't quite what I got here. So just so you can kind of see what I'm talking about. So there's the yummy goodness, but then you crunch it. The corn needs to be here. The other thing that I got is uh, street tacos. So this looks like beef tacos. And then there's just onion and cilantro in there. And then you get um, some rice. So let's, let's check it out. Let's have this okay, and I also did not get any other like condiments. So I'm just going to use my lime. I didn't get um, I didn't get tapatio or anything, so and I grabbed some real silverware from um, the boardwalk. So let's try some of the beans. So the beans are actually pretty good. Surprise. Let's see how the rice is. Okay, the rice isn't bad either. I like it better than um, Rancho Los Ocolo. So now I'm curious about the tapas, but I really wish I had um, some tapatio or something with this. I think I'm gonna use my lime for my corn, whatever's left there, but yeah, the lime is a good um, kind of add to that. There's no other sauce on it. It's just the beef, so it's kind of dry, you know, with the tortilla, <laughs> it gets a little like, chew it good. But, um, you know, not so bad overall. I think it was $13.99 before any discounts, and then this was like $6.79 or something before discounts, but not too shabby. I'm enjoying the music actually. This is a nice atmosphere. Um, yeah, so the rice and beans I thought were pretty good. Right? What's nice 
since the beans aren't um, dry, sometimes they'll be, you know, maybe they sat too long in the pot and then they'll be dry. So um, they did a good job on that. They're not dry. And um, the rice too. I thought they did a good job with the rice. So huh? I don't know. Um, the tacos are a little, that's where you kind of have the dryness. I'm putting more lime on my tacos. Because they need it. It's definitely going to be filling, so I won't be hungry walking around the rest of the day. I just wanted to rate it based on today's experience and kind of value for your money, right? Because I don't want you to come here and waste your money and give you a false review. So yeah, the elote, I, it definitely has potential and maybe on another day it's better. You know what, I'm going to give it 6 out of 10 because of the flavor. And then the street taco plate. I think I'm going to stick with 7 out of 10 because everything's fresh. Just a little blandness with the beans, but the beans are not dry and the rice is not dry. So, 7 out of 10 for that. With my discounts and everything, I think it came out to like 1870 or something like that altogether. So, you know, that's the going right here at the Teddy theme park. It's actually, I think, a better value than um, maybe in some other places. So, I'm gonna finish my lunch dinner, my winner, and then uh, maybe walk around for a little bit. But this was what I wanted to do today. So, it's a short trip, but wanted to share this with you. We're gonna head over to Cars Land because. Although I'm full, I need to try seasonal treats. So we're going to have the uh, the churro in Cars Land, which is like the, um, I think it's candy coated churro. But once we get over there, I'll tell you more. We are over at Pixar Pier. We're kind of working our way around and getting in my steps for the day while we eat our way through DCA. <laughs> But um, this area is where you'll find, they'll have different Pixar um, characters over here. So from inside out, Sadness, right? Is that her name? I know she represents Sadness, but she's too cute. I love him. And the angry dogs are good too. I think you're so Hi, Mr. Potato Head. Thank you. <laughs> he needs an audience. Boys and girls, waiting just inside for funny, fun, and all of my fellow toys. Toy Story is 65 minute wait. Everything today I've seen, even from this morning, has been. 40 minutes, 60 minutes, 120 minutes. Very busy. Oh. Over here we got a little line for me. We've got Woody and Bo Peep. And Credit Coaster is down. Down, down, down. So we're over here in Cars Land, Cozy Cones. Let's try these out. So we're sitting over here by Rollick and Roadsters. It's, uh, there's some benches, kind of like people can um, sit and watch um, people on the ride. So I got the, uh, this is like the cereal, cereal churro <laughs> at a cozy cup. So at the churro stand, this is their Halloween seasonal specialty churro. So let's see. So cheers. Okay, so yeah, nothing really like exciting to write home about with the churros. They do look really cute. They're very um, festive. 
but um, I didn't really taste anything in the uh, kind of the sauce that they drizzled on top. I didn't really taste the cereal. It just is like the cinnamon sugar of a churro, but it's very fresh. Um, it's tasty, but probably seven out of 10, just because it is fresh. The presentation is um, really nice. It's, you know, full Halloween mode, but um, nothing really spectacular about the flavor. So nothing special. Um, I wouldn't get it again. Glad I tried it, but I would not get this one again. It's not a repeat churro, so decent. Well, look at Mater in his vampire costume. Doesn't he look cute? This here must be the scenic route. Because it's a good place to be seen. He's been meeting and greeting. Time to go home now. All right, everyone. We got to go through Avengers Campus, right? We're going to be heading out, but we're going to exit through the campus. I think I see a... Captain America over here? First sighting. Let's see who else is here. Black Panther! Hello. So there's a Guardians of the Galaxy uh, crossbody that I wanted. It's like the, uh, what is the? <laughs> They're Guardians of the Galaxy right that just came out. All right, I acquired the bag. So it's a crossbody. It does have a strap, but it also has like a belt hook. So it's over here in the shop by uh, Guardians of the Galaxy Mission Breakout. It is Cosmic Rewind from Walt Disney World, but you know what? I've looked at this like four different times and said I wanted it. So I got it. All right, everybody. Ooh, got a lot of sun right there. Okay, so um, we'll have some sunbeams behind us. That's nice. I am heading out of the park. So thanks again for joining me. Um, not too much, I don't think I saw any new merch. So nothing new there. Um, we got to try some foods at the Pacific Garden Grill. So we got to try the elote. We tried the street tacos. And we also got to try the churros at the Cozy Cone um, Cars Land area, which is like the cereal uh, dusted churros. Um, kind of looked like it was crushed up, but Fruity Pebbles on there. But um, I hope you had fun. I did. It's, uh, gosh, what time is it? It's 4.30 in the afternoon. It is a busy, busy Wednesday. Um, but um, I had fun. Spent a couple hours, but it's always fun to be here, even for a short time. All right, thanks everyone. I'll see you next time.